A lot of gardeners are familiar with cicadas, sometimes called locusts or jarflies or something like that. It's an insect that pretty much symbolizes the hot days of summer. You can hear the sound that it's making right now. We hear them singing in the trees on the hot summer days. We can hear them singing at night and just gives us that feel of summer. The cicadas are an insect that spend much of their lives underground. When they do emerge, they are a sort of a different looking creature without wings, but they, uh, they come out of the soil, they climb up trees, and they metamorphosize into these adults with the wings. Now, it's not easy being a cicada. They're eaten by birds, and they are also hunted down by a specific predator, the cicada killer. And we've got a cicada killer flying around uh, the area where we're taping here right now. It's a huge wasp like insect, sometimes referred to as a hornet, but you can see that black and yellow or whitish abdomen and sort of a reddish brown look to the uh, wing area and the legs and even the eyes. But the cicada killers will spend several weeks digging a burrow. We've got one right down here I want to show you in case you've seen some of these out in your garden. It almost looks like a small gopher mound. It's quite a bit of soil for an insect to actually move. Those burrows go down about six to ten inches and the female adult cicada killer will make some little compartments or cells in the burrow and then she'll go about hunting for cicadas. The cicada killer will attack and sting a cicada and it paralyzes the cicada but doesn't kill it. It'll then fly with the cicada back to the burrow or drag it along the ground and take it down into the burrow and then lay an egg on the cicada. Then when the egg hatches, the cicada killer larva will begin feeding on the cicada. So there could be up to three or four compartments down in this burrow. So the female cicada will collect those cicadas and take them down there for her young. Now the cicada killers look menacing. They look like they're very harmful, but actually you hardly ever get stung by a cicada killer. They can deliver a painful sting, but they rarely do so. They're actual actually quite docile and they're actually hard to provoke into stinging you. They don't eat the cicadas, the adults cicada killer, they actually feed on flower nectar. And the male cicada killer, like a lot of other male wasps, doesn't even have a stinger. So the cicada killer, again, they don't do much harm. They are somewhat harmless and if you are near one, just remain calm and you should be okay. Now, there are some sprays or insecticides that you can use to control the cicada killers, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you had like a really heavy infestation and the mounds are somewhere where there is a possibility that you could be stung. But uh, some of those sprays are those wasp sprays that you can attack the uh, burrow from quite a distance away. But as far as damage in the garden, they don't really do damage in the turf. They hardly ever dig into a vigorous, thick turf. They're usually found, or their mounds are found in areas of bare soil like this area where this landscape is under construction. But you can see the little burrow here where uh, the female has just gone inside and uh, probably down there checking on her young. So next time you see one of these burrows, you'll know that you have a cicada killer nearby. And uh, then maybe you can have some sympathy for our friend the cicada. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.